Hello and welcome to the first Blitz episode of Company of Heroes History. Now in this shorter episode, I'm not going to show you a full game. What I'm going to do instead is show you a little extract from a game um, that hopefully illustrates some interesting things from the game, some little tidbits that I think um, warrant a bit of extra attention. Now in the previous episode, episode two, uh, I showed you a game where um, Wittensby attempted to use a Panzer Shrek Rush, uh, but I, he didn't do it in what I would say became the optimal way. So I'm going to show you what that optimal way is uh, today. Um, and what it looks like is this. You essentially have to take um, the Terra Doctrine and utilize a combination of Zeal and Inspired Assault. Now what Zeal does is it means that as your infantry squads lose, uh, lose numbers, they become more effective. They actually increase their rate of fire, um, but, uh, the rate, their rate of fire, so they fire more frequently. Inspired Assault is an ability that you can activate for the cost of 50 munitions, uh, which means that they will take a little bit of extra damage, but they will also deal extra damage. Now, what happened is that the effects of these two abilities actually stacked um, in such a way that they would multiply each other, which would result in squads with only a few members in them, such as you can see at the bottom here, this uh, these two Grenadier squads here would fire at a particularly high rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this by moving this half track here straight into the enemy's base. And we will see what sort of damage they do once I activate Inspired Assault. Um, as the half track's making its way there, I'll just show you briefly the monstrosity that is the map Leon that came with the game when it was first released. It's an enormous one versus one map with a lot of points to capture. And these very strange points down here, you can see that you couldn't actually access without first breaking the walls. There's one here. There's another one here that you have to break the wall to get inside. Anyway, here we go. This, these units are now approaching the base. Oh, it looks like he has brought back some units. That makes things a little more awkward. Oh, and there's an AT gun. That could have been bad. Uh, but as I get everyone all about here, click Inspired Assault. I think you can see what I mean. As these hit one man squads fire at a greatly increased rate. and are able to effectively, <laughs> this is even better than I remember, <laughs> take out an entire base on their own. You can see here Zeal just on its own. Yeah, it does some effect. My word, this is even better than I remember. Oh, a little bit of friendly fire here. Not bad deal. Oh, goes down now. You can see as Inspired Assault has now uh, expired. They're now not doing quite so much, not quite firing quite so quickly. Um. Wow, yes. There you go. I can test it again. You'll see that again. They'll start firing at supreme speed. Including taking out a great number of infantry models as well. Fantastic. This one guy may be able to just take out this entire base on his own if I'm lucky. That is, if he isn't taken out by this retreating engineer squad. So, uh, as you can see, this is something that was uh, extremely overpowered uh, and was pretty rapidly patched out of the game. Uh, but nevertheless, I think it's a pretty interesting, uh, interesting little moment. It didn't last too long, but was very interesting while it did. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching this little Blitz episode today, and um, I hope you'll tune in again another time to see something, hopefully, uh, just as exciting. Oh, go on, I'll just, just quickly finish this off for you. Are you ready? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you again next time.